Hey, what's up, guys? Um, just got back from Toys R Us in um, at Walgreens, Big Lots. Got some good finds. Well, not good, but you know, got some pretty cool finds today. Not a bad day. So, um, first off at Big Lots, I found a '56 Ford F100. Oh, and this one's just a 2011 Heat Fleet. Very cool. And then I finally found one of the 83 Chevy Silverados in blue. I have a couple black ones, but um, when these first came out, I let them go by because I seen a bunch on the pegs. And then next thing I know, I never found them anymore. And then this one's car gripped because, you know, they just kind of throw their stuff around. And they had a lot of these boxes. They had about six of these great big boxes full of Hot Wheels. It's just generally the same thing like this. This guy was the only one and then this one was the only one. It's a, um, I actually ripped it off because it was just hanging by a thread. It's a 65 Ford Ram Churro. Cool. Needed that one. Never found it. And then from uh, Toys R Us, I got a bread box. I also got the 81 um, Camaro, the drag Camaro. But, um, gave it to my nephew because I already have one but I need another one but I got the bread box been wanting that one just been passing it by and then I got a Monster Jam um, Excalibur this one is a classic monster truck it's not part of the classic collection it still has a 30th anniversary it comes with a Topps card um, it's in that same 6 lineup with the Samson truck and all that you could take a peek at that um, Excalibur is an old monster truck from the 80s, so that's pretty cool. I really like finding these older monster trucks um, from like the 80s. They should have did it on like a, um, I think with the uh, with Mattel, what they should do with the Monster Jam is they need to widen their variety of uh, body styles so that they look more like a truck. Like this one was not a Ford, I believe it was a Chevy. But they should put an older Chevy top on there and not look like a new Chevy. And they put a new Ford, they have a newer Ford top on there, or body, I should say. It's like an F-150, but oh well, still a cool truck. Um, let me get this Grand here out of this package because it's just killing me to see it like this. It's like, come on, get me open, get me open. And there, oh, whoa. Oh no, never mind. I thought the well, maybe it is. Face might be a little bit loose, but oh well, nothing too drastic. So yeah, there's the Ranchero. It's basically Ford's version of an El Camino. It has the uh, oh, can't remember what they call those specific ones. Kind of like a blower, but not really. Um, they're like. I can't remember what they're called at the moment. Um, the Chevy Silverado, I might keep it in the pack. Nope. No, I'm not. So, anyways, there it is, just in blue. I found a couple black ones. So yep, decided to rip them out. I'm surprised they didn't come out with the white one because I noticed they came out with, um, in the Hot Wheels lineup, they came out with black ones, blue ones, and white ones. That one didn't come out in white. Um, here goes the 56 Ford F100 panel truck. I'd like to have one of these in real life. I like the panel trucks. I'd actually like a, uh, a, uh, 51. Actually a 51, but this one's still cool too. Yeah, there it is. This one does not have the opening hood with the older ones. Like, they're more of my generation. I remember they had a opening hood that opened backwards like this. The little front came off. I built a rusted model one out of one of them, which I shouldn't have done because it was a Ford. It had, like, Ford uh, parts on the side, but oh well. No biggie. Still was cool. So, yeah, this one's pretty neat. I, uh, they had a whole bunch of them, so I do need to pick a couple more up. Um, red box. 
has some giant exhaust pipes on this side. So yeah, there he is. He's open on that side, drives on the uh, right side of the vehicle because it is like a uh, mail truck. Uh, my knife is poking me. No, that's not for kids. <laughs> Sorry, I just carry that daily just in case I need it. But uh, as you can see, it has a clear roof. You guys won't be able to see it. Um, the engine, it looks like there's an engine right next to the driver's seat. It's hard to tell. Maybe I'll get another one if I have any extra money. I'll just get another one and cut the roof out. And we can see it looks like there's an engine. And the other side, you can see the exhaust pipes and then the, the door's closed. Pretty cool model, been wanting this one. Yeah, I believe that is the engine in there, but I'll get another one and cut the Dremel out the roof and make it a open sunroof. And the uh, Excalibur. Very cool. Still pretty cool with that f-150 body on it but it'd be kind of cool if they'll expand their riding and put like you know like an older chevy top like the way it was like this one make more sense and it doesn't look cool because if somebody has wheels you know but it would make more sense and as you can see there's that caliber right there red wheels very cool truck. Glad to have it. And the card. Excalibur, a member of the Sudden Impact Monster Truck Racing Team, has been a fan favorite for decades. After a brief hideous, I don't even know. Um, hi oh, hiatus from the cir circuit. Excalibur's former owner joined the Sudden Impact Team and it was decided that X Halibur should, should live again. After debuting a few different body designs over the years, X Halibur has taken the Monster Trucks fans back to the basic with the retro throwback theme that pays homage to its high flying history. So yeah, there it is and it's showing a newer Chevy as the frame. Um, there's a picture on the back I don't know if you guys can see it, but yeah, that's the way it's actually a Chevy. So that's kind of the thing that bugged me. And they're kind of, if, I don't know if they're going to do the re release on it. They could have did a newer Chevy body style or the old Chevy body style if they wanted to keep it like a classic. But I don't know why they put the exact opposite competitors. You know, there could, you know, we all know Ford and GM compete you know and I don't understand why they put Ford put it on a Ford but oh well it's still a cool truck I still like it so yeah those are the finds for the day and thank you for watching